Carly from Cantina Creative with another one of our tips and tricks. Today we're going to be going over rainbow refractions in glass materials. We're going to be using a combination of a Cinema 4D render and After Effects to composite. Our final will look something kind of like this. Uh, this is a very rough, very exaggerated rainbow refraction tutorial, but it'll get you the gist and you can tweak it from there. I like this technique a lot. I think it's really helpful, especially because Cinema 4D does take such a long time to render out refractions and to render out reflectances and transparencies. Uh, it really kind of bogs your system down. And if you can do it this way, it's a lot faster and it's a lot easier to kind of change in post and in your composite. So as long as you have your scene set up and you know what you want, you can start rendering out these different passes and it just makes the whole entire workflow a little bit easier, a little bit more seamless. This is also really useful because of its flexibility. If I want to change the amount of reflection or refraction that I have in a material, instead of going back into Cinema 4D and re-rendering my heavy scene, I can just change it in After Effects and in Comp. So we're going to start off in Cinema 4D. I've got our scene set up for us here. It looks just kind of like this. And I'm using just a very, very basic glass material. I got my transparency on, my reflectance on, everything is pretty much set to the original except for the index of refraction. Now this is the most important part of the tutorial. It is the reason that we have the rainbow changes in glass in real life and the way we're going to get them in this tutorial as well. So right now I have my index set to 1.5. Uh, and all an index of refraction is, is the difference between how fast light moves through a vacuum and how fast light moves through a uh, material or an object. So this is basically just saying that light is going to move 1.5 times slower through my glass material than it would act normally uh, in a vacuum setting. Because each wavelength behaves differently, I have to create three different materials, a red, a green, and a blue material for my scene. And I'm going to have to render out a red pass, a green pass, and a blue pass. The colors that I have applied to these materials are actually not important for our final composite, but just to make things easier for me, I like to color each of the materials with the channel they'll be applied to later. To do that, I don't turn on the color portion of my material. What I do is I just go into my transparency tab and I adjust the color in there. And that doesn't really affect anything, it doesn't change anything, but just makes it a lot easier to know what you're working with. So the red pass, I'm just going to stick with the index of refraction that I had for the original glass, which is 1.5. A realistic glass would probably have an index of refraction of 1.45 for red, but like I said, this is an exaggeration, so I'm going with 1.5. For my green, I change it to 1.4. If you're looking for realism, try 1.46. And for blue, I changed it to 1.3. And again, for realism, go for 1.47. So I've rendered out a pass of each of these colors, and you can see them right here. Here's the red pass, the green pass, and the blue pass. And all you have to do is take them into After Effects, set them up inside of their own comp, and add a new solid. Now on this new solid, go into Set Channels, and it's going to have an option for you to choose which channel means what. Source Layer 1 is going to be the red channel, so match your red channel render up with the red channel in After Effects and do the same thing for your green and for your blue. And when you turn it on, it's got all of your refractions set. Now this is just the base of what happens. Now you can go on, you can composite it, you can tweak it, adjust your opacity, uh, adjust your layering modes, whatever you need to do to get the look that you're going for. But if you're just looking for some rainbow refractions, this is a great way to do it. It's very simple and doesn't really take much time. That's about it for this tip. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tips and tricks from Cantina Creative.